What? I love burritos. I love lumpia. That's lumpia. That's the best. But I didn't know what it was. But had my school been like Zamorano, I would know all those things. So it's very fortunate, guys, that now it's like this. Give yourselves a big hand for being like this. Give yourselves a big hand. A big hand. One of the people that made sure we could all work together and be smarter because of it. I would have been a lot smarter if, if this would have been my classroom in the third grade. I would have been a lot smarter because I wouldn't be learning everything black, 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 black. I'd be learning, look around, guys. Look around. This is wonderful. This is wonderful, but it hasn't always been this way. One of the people that we talk about during this month, of course, is Dr. King. Ah, what do I know about Dr. King? Well, he's pretty special. Dr. King came to my church when I was a kid. Huh? What? what? <laughs> yes. 1968. It was before then. Mm -hmm. What? Dr. King came to my church, number one. Number two, after he spoke, he high-fived all the kids. Guess who had their hand up? I did. He touched his hand. Dr. King touched this hand. Does that make me special? Does it make me lucky? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Dr. King touched his hand. So I know all about him and, you know, Rosa Parks and the whole thing. Another thing I did in the third grade, actually it was the fourth grade, the grade that you're going up to. Even though I was in an all African American school, I thought that I was pretty clever. One of the words that people could not repeat was the word Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Exactly. But in my school, nobody said, Czechos, what? What? Sit, sit, what? Czechoslovakia. So I decided to be as smart as I could, and I wrote a report. My school report was on Czechoslovakia. That's surprise number one. Surprise number two, Mrs. Orange is with me. Guess where her family's from? Czechoslovakia. From the fourth grade till now. And I marry someone whose family is from Czechoslovakia. So here, give her a big hand. <clears throat> she thinks she's the boss of me. <laughs> She thinks because she's Mrs. Orange, she thinks she's the boss. You got me ready, put my clothes out, everything. You do this, you do this, you do this. She drove me down. I can drive, I have a license, I got a car. Well, sometimes, well, most of the time, she is the boss. <laughs> my goal is to be a servant of the community. And my arm is like this because four years ago, this December, I got hit by a car and left this arm paralyzed, and I need a volunteer. How about you, old lady? Come on, sir. Okay, hold your arm out. So when I got hit by the car, they cut my arm off right here. So I don't have a hand on this side. And it left this arm paralyzed, so I can't move it. So when things like that happen, you have a number of choices. But all the choices can be minimized if you think about what is your sense of purpose. And my sense of purpose was the community, and you, and doing the best I could in my community with you. <coughs> that was my sense of purpose. I'm still doing it. 
I didn't think, oh, poor me, I'm sorry, I need alcohol, I need to do drugs now, I hate people, poor me. That wasn't my sense of purpose. My sense of purpose in my mind was to get back out there and make a difference. And that's what I'm doing now. In fact, I'm making more of a difference now. Because now it's very up close and personal to me. Very up close and very personal to me. So that's what I'm doing. Am I a fun person? I don't know. I guess. Sometimes I am. Most of the time I'm very, very serious. And I love the way you're looking at me. Every time I look at you, I eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. Boys don't do it that way. Girls, most of the time they do. Yeah. Boys are busy making jokes, having fun, pull my face, you know, that kind of thing. They do things like that. <laughs> Get it. But girls, I look at them, they're looking at me. 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 Now, should girls do Taekwondo? I love it when I have young ladies in my class. I love it when there's a woman instructor. In the class. <laughs> I love it to see a, a young lady make black belts in my class. And guess what guys? I'm doing something that nobody else is uh, doing but I hope it catches on. When your child makes black belt at my school and it's announced and everybody's clapping, you get to tie the belt on. Not me. Because you've been on service too. You've been on the sunny days, the rainy days, the cloudy days, and that's a day for parent acknowledgement. And mom and dad tie that belt on and they get on either side and pull it tight. The parents put on the black belt in my school, not me. That's not my job. I may be sitting at the judge's table walking, wiping away tears while I see the parents tie the black belt on. How many of you wish you could do that? Yeah, that would be a fun thing. Because your parents are with you, and you are their precious cargo. Moms and dads aren't here right now in your classroom. Many of them are at work or doing other things. They can only hope that your dear teacher does what she's supposed to do. When the kids come to my class, the parents get to sit right there, and they get to watch and they get to watch me teach your children. And the first thing I had to tell them not to do was look at their cell phone. I said, put your darn cell phone down. <laughs> and for the next 45 minutes, put your eye on your precious cargo. Them, not me, them. And then we walk up as students to the parents and we bow to the parents. I said, guys, I have nine stripes. This is a lot of respect. But those are your parents. You honor them. That's bigger than respect. And so they get to see me talk like that to their kids. Because they have a front row seat to the greatest movie in the world, starring their child. Starring their child. And some of them really get that idea. Others say, well, oh, Grandmaster, you tend to talk too much. I don't think where kids are concerned, you can't talk too much about the good message, the right message. And I know parents are learning from me too, because I'm older than most of the parents. I'll be 69 on my next birthday. That's not too old. Wait, I'm good looking for 69. Yeah, you look like you're old. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My sense of purpose, my sense of purpose is to do the best that I can for my community. When President Clinton came to San Diego, he came to San Diego. Guess who was here when he got here? 
Ma'am, even in the shopping center, because they, they turned and, and came down in front of the center, all the stores had to have their doors closed. Mm -hmm. And there were sharpshooters on top of the door line. I was here when President Clinton came. I've been principal of the day, right here at John Marone. I was here for Grandparents' Day, right here at Zon Moran. I've been around and around and around and around Zon Moran since day one. Since Zon Moran was just dirt. And they built it. And I thought, what are you doing? Where am I going to walk my dog? Because I lived across the street. What am I going to do? I'm going to serve Zon Moran. That's what I'm going to do. I've been serving Zamorano ever since. And I've done Lee, and I've done Bethune, been principal of the day in both places. Morris, Bell, this whole community, it's my community too. My children too. And I do the best to make sure my kids do a very good job. If you're not in sidekicks, you're still my kids. You're one of the kids in this community. And I used to carry paint in my car. I would paint over the graffiti every day. Every day. And they say, oh, what are you doing? I'm painting this over. It doesn't last 24 hours. Doing good. I'm still doing good. And I need your help. Your teacher needs your help. Principal Murchison needs your help. If you look left and right, you need each other's help. Because this classroom is unlike what my classroom was when I was a kid. I love this look. I love it. How many of you guys know what a bookmark is? No. Okay. I'm going to get some bookmarks and I'm going to make sure you get <laughs> and you only promise me that you use your bookmark in good books. Oh yeah. All right. Any questions at all? Yes. 